Hey guys, it's Adam from Pentacle Tech. Sorry I haven't made a video lately, but in this video I'll be showing you guys how to upgrade your HP Mini Netbook from 1GB of RAM to 2GB of RAM. First of all, you're going to have to buy your own RAM, and I bought my RAM from Newegg, and it was actually, I think, $35 for 2GB stick. And I actually will give you guys a link in the description over there um, to show you exactly what RAM I used for my HP Mini Netbook. So we can go right into the unboxing. Um, it took about a week. There we go. There we go. So here is the RAM itself. It's really small. And this is the um, like I said, I will give you a link in the description to exact to the exact RAM. So if you guys were interested in buying RAM for your HP Mini, it is the Corsair Value Select DDR2 667 megahertz. It's two gigabyte stick, and I'll actually give you a link to show you exactly where to get this RAM. Okay, next you want to actually get your HP Mini and turn it on. And w the reason of me doing this before we actually install the new RAM is to see how much RAM is recognized on the computer before we do it, to see if there's an actual change before and after. To do this, we want to go to the your start menu and go to my computer. However, you want to right click on my computer and go to properties. Okay. Now, if we, let's see if we can zoom in there. I don't know if you can see that great, but um, it says it has 0.99 gigabyte of RAM. Um, so we'll just see if that changes when we install the new RAM. Okay, right after we checked how much RAM is recognized on your HP Mini now, you want to turn it off. Let's see, if, there we go. And, and uh, that's the first step to turn it off let's get some more light okay next you wanna go to the back and pop the battery out let's see there we go so once your battery is out let me get a better angle so you guys can see this better so once you have your battery out you want to turn this notch to the right and it will unlock your RAM compartment which is this and it actually unlocks it doesn't pop it up for you so you're gonna need like something sharp I'm using a protractor here or you can use a point of a pen and you're gonna have to pop it out be real careful when doing this there we go so that's kinda tricky so then we have our RAM right there. We can zoom in on this. Okay, once you have your RAM cover off, um, if you notice on the actual RAM, there are two tabs, one on each side. Um, now, you're, all you're going to have to do is pull on each tab, pull away from it to each side, just like that. And once you pull those tabs, the RAM will actually slide out or pop out by itself. There we go. And this is the actual default RAM. I guess it's not focusing. It's uh, It says 1 gigabyte um, RAM axle. Okay, once you have your old RAM out and you want to get your new RAM in there, this is the value select 2 gigabyte Corsair. Um, before putting it in, you af actually have to see that notch right there. You're going to have to line it with the notch. Um, down in the RAM slot and you want to just push it in there we go now um, all you have to do is just take it from the sides be careful with this and just press down and once you press down all the way um, as you see these two tabs actually snap right into place so you just press down you have to press it kinda hard um, don't worry there it's pretty sturdy so once it's once you know it's in um, and the tabs are 
slid into place, you want to just put the cover on, and there you go. Okay, once you have your new RAM in, you want to make sure you lock your RAM slot, and then put your battery in. And there we go. So then you want to turn on your computer, or Mini 1000 netbook. Okay, this is my first boot up with the new RAM. Um, first of all, you want to go to the start menu. And then you want to go to my computer, right click on my computer and go to properties. And hopefully um, it recognizes the new RAM and everything's working properly. And as you guys can see, I don't know if you guys can see that very well, it is 1.99 gigabytes of RAM. So the computer recognized it, um, everything's working properly. Now it has 2 gigabytes of RAM. So, so I'm glad my HP Mini recognized my new 2 gigabytes of RAM. I didn't have to install or go through the settings or anything. Um, it was pretty much plug and play. So now I have 2 gigabytes of RAM instead of the stock 1 gigabyte. And I'm going to get a huge performance increase. Everything's going to run smoother and faster. I'm going to be able to start up and um, shut down my computer a lot faster. And I highly recommend anybody who has a netbook uh, and only has one gigabyte RAM to upgrade to two. You'll see a huge performance increase, and it's only 35 bucks, guys. So I hope everything works well with you guys. If you guys have any questions, problems, concerns, leave a comment below, and I'll be sure to get back to you. This has been a video on how to install 2 gigabytes of RAM onto your HP Mini. Thanks for watching, guys.